All right, so as asked for, I'm about to do a quick profile, deck profile on my Chaos Assault. It's going to be real quick, simple to the point. No side deck because the side deck's whatever you want to put in for a specific matchup. So it could be anything you want. And like I said in the earlier video, I'm still in, in the works of making it better my style, the way I play, for the next upcoming region. But this is my version of Chaos Assault. And I'll give little explanations why I run certain cards because I run them. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into this. So it's, it's an exact 40 card deck, so you always draw what you need and the deck the deck deck thins. So you have a higher chance of drawing what's needed and instead of what's wanted. And it cycles real good. So two chaos assault. I found three is too cloggy. Two gets to the point, and then the third set of Cyber Reflector combo, you can go into whatever other link plays or synchro plays you want. Um, you can look up my other videos, it shows you combos. Well, I'll do combos after this uh, in the next video. You basic set up your key, normal summon or special summon if you go off a of Cyber um, Assault Sentinel. You need Cyber Reflector, the key card to this whole deck. Um, you only need to run one Assault Beast, really. Because um, if you open up Cyber Reflector, you need a Assault Beast. You search Assault Beast out, then send him to Graveyard to bring Assault Mode to your hand, so he can use his second effect and bring him back. Now, if you go Assault Sentinel route, and you can bypass this, you can bypass Assault Sentinel. I mean Assault Beast, um, because you summon him, tribute him. He's in Graveyard. He brings him out. And you can skip this and go to um, Assault Mode Activate so he can bring him back. Now if you don't have Assault Mode Activate in hand, what I like to do is I summon, Activate Effect, bring him out, Activate Effect, I will search him. Then use his effect to bring Assault Mode to my hand. That way off of one card, I'm deck thinning for one, two, three with the Assault Mode Activate. And this is the base. This is a small engine. It's the basic engine for this, this deck. Also, to help it out, we got two summoners monk. You can get rid of a spell to bring assault sentinel, and then you can go for even bigger synchro monsters. Cause with him and him, well, with side reflector point blank, you can increase him to seven or up to nine. Um, eight. So you could go for synchros from nine to what is it six uh yeah six because you can increase him from one to four so being that he's one for four plus the one you can secret for um six to nine or off of summoner's monk you can go in additional um from six to what ten eleven i'm not adding right now so that's the basic engine just to bring him out then we're going to go for the other monsters which makes it chaos we run two Blackluster Soldiers and Void at the beginning. Um, you know you're wondering where the Light Monster is. We have that for you. Don't worry. I have that for you. We also run two Armed Dragons. You can easily bring this out with just one Summonous Monk, two spells. You can bring him out one turn with a whole bunch of extra shit. Now we run two Cyber Dragons going second. Or even going first, if we're getting rid of stuff and Assault Mode's already activated, and he's on the field doing something and negating. Um, special summon him, as long as you have no monsters and they have one, and you can go to way other place. Also, it's light, so it's food for um, BLS. Also, to help out with the light monsters is we main deck two Nibirus, because this deck gets punched in the face by combos, so... You can safely, if you have uh, Nibiru in your hand, you can go for your starter's play because then you negate something. They go, let's say they, they continue going to combo, you get rid of their combo, he's coming back next turn. You got two monsters, 3,000 on the field. Also, a light. These are light, which is food for um, BLS. And then you got darks. Um, darks. Over there, you got some. So you can easily bring out Dark on Dragon, and it's at two at this format. Um, BLS I put him at 2 because I kept it a 40 card deck and then the spice for this deck which I also love as a dark monster you got your iron dragon tomation and the way you bring this out is by having three cards lined up in the same column you can special summon him and he pops everything else in the column 
um, except himself, and the column can no longer be used. So if you have your synchro, your extra zone um, taken up, and you bring him to the other extra, extra monster zone, like you set it up, they can't special summon from their extra deck because their extra link zone, uh, their extra monster zone is occupied with his effect. Let's say he's here, they can't use this at all. And since you have a special summon monster in this zone, it locks them out of their extra deck. Also, it gets rid of stuff, so it's like special summons, special summons, special summons, special summons, normal to special. So you're using special summon monsters to, to bait out their stuff. Before going into your normal link, your normal one card play, which is, which takes up your your normal summon, so you bait stuff out, and you go from there. It's real simple. And that's it for the monster lineup. Um, we got quite a few spells. We got your one emergency teleport to bring out side reflector. Same as one for one, except one for one you're getting rid of a monster to do so. And you can get rid of, let's say you have Nibiru in hand or um, Cyber Dragon. You can chuck them to the graveyard to bring out Cyber Reflector. Go into the, the one card loop. Now you have a light in the grave and a dark in the grave because Cyber Reflector is a dark. And that's easily BLS right there. While having a secret on the field or whatever, whatever play you want to go. We also run three fire formation for, um, tankies. You can search out Assault Sentinel or Assault Beast. Main target is Assault Sentinel. Unless you already have him in hand and you want to cycle through your deck, just search out Assault Beast to search. You can bait out Ash that way. You can bait out Ash with this by itself and then have Assault Sentinel in your hand before using it. Um, always use this first if you have Assault, in your, Assault Sentinel in your hand to bait out their Ash. Because there's a lot of times I'll use it, they'll Ash this card. And then I'll bring our Soul Sentinel so Ash is out the way. And it's a once per turn Ash. So you don't have to worry about it. We got the one Monster Reborn, so sexy. And we run two Return of the Dragons Lords. I found this to be so useful. And I'm the first person to use this in a synchro based deck of my type. <clears throat> and since I've been using it, I see other people making profiles and then they start using it in their decks. I'm like, it makes sense because. You go the Stardust Assault Mode route. You go, you do your one card play for Stardust um, Assault Mode. Now, regular Stardust Dragon's in your graveyard, and he's an 8. You can bring him back. Easy, free, and move him to another zone. Now you have Stardust Dragon, Assault Mode, um, Stardust Assault Mode, and your um, extra zone is freed up for whatever else you want to do. So it's like you're moving stuff around, and then you bring him back, and then it's protection for your dragons which is main, most of all your cards and for hand traps you know we have to watch out for ash like I said you can bait it out or just call by the grave it it won't take an effect and that's basically it the, um, the spells eh, protecting you searching out baiting out ash bring out the um, other two um, bring out side reflectors um, bring back monsters and there's so much you can do with these cards like I had combos on my deck just look through my videos you'll find basic cards combos with bringing um, back a monster and link claiming I mean not link claiming I'm um, synchro claiming that's basically it for the spells like I said it's a 40 card deck real simple to the point now for the traps three assault mode activates even though you only use two um, you're going to use two to bring out the two Stardust Assault Modes. Once they're on the field, you're pretty much, you should be set up. And then with the third one, you need it to go into your third Cyro um, Effector combo. So you can go into any other Synchro, but you need one in hand um, to utilize Cyro Effector bringing back one of its counterparts to Synchro in. So from that point, you're going into other things, but you need three. Unless you're running one, then you need two, so that one of them, one of the Somos activates is being used to bring him, actually bring him out, and the other one's used to go into other plays. One Imperial Order because we hate spells. Um, I know we use spells ourselves, but if we can stop our opponents from using spells, our Somo will stop the traps. So we have traps to stop traps. 
we're pretty much negating everything that they're going to be doing that would stop us. We're not stopping them from playing, but we're negating stuff that would stop us. Like, you could go other routes with this, and then, I mean, Red Reboot, with the extra deck, you could go into certain synchro plays going first, going second, or first, and then just shut down their traps, shut down their spells, and then he would just be used to shut down their monsters. Another spicy card people found that I really love and enjoy is one dark fact that we have more production. So if they try to take one of my synchros or my monsters... I already have this on play. I can send that whatever synchro or monster they're targeting that I can't prevent them from um, taking. I can just send it to the graveyard and draw a card. Or if I have a dead card in hand, I, a monster in hand, I can send, let's say, Cyber Dragon's dead in hand. I can send Cyber Dragon to the graveyard, draw a card. I can send Nibiru. If it's dead, uh, depending on my matchup, if um, Nibiru's dead in hand, I can send it to the graveyard, draw a card. And then also, since I send Cyber Dragon or Nibiru in Graveyard to draw, this whole deck guarantees there's Darks in Graveyard. Now I just put the Light in Graveyard, easily bring out BLS. So this card is good, and it's a steady one for one. So I was like, I'm drawing one card. I'm getting rid of one card that might be useless at the moment to draw a card. Or are they trying to take my monster? I'd rather send it to the Graveyard so I can plus one. And they're, they just went negative because they could no longer take my monster and use it against me. You know what I mean? And it's on their turn or your turn, so. Oh, Synchro plays. Let's see. We're only need two Stardust Dragons and got that sexy rare, Ghost Rare. You only really need two because you're only going to go into this, let's say you go into one. Um, Stardust Dragon, you use the Trap card, bring out Assault Mode, then you use Return of the Dragon's Lord, you bring out the second. Then you already have to set the other Assault Mode. And then you have basically one on field. You bring him back with Return of the Dragon, Dragon's Lord or Monster Reborn. You just set another... Let's say you had two set the other Assault Mode Activate. You're basically getting rid of this one to bring out your second. So you only really need two. There's, it's extremely rare. You're going to go into your extra deck to bring out a second starters when once, once, once one is in the graveyard... You can bring it back with Return of the Dragon's Lord or Monster Reborn. So, to me, you only need two. You don't need three at all. Then, the one Black Rose, if they have non-stop monsters on the field or nothing but five back rows, you use your, and you drew um, Red Reboot, negate that one trap card from being activated, they're all face down. But, if you open up Psy Reflector by itself, you will have to go Psy Reflector, search out Assault Beast, send Assault Beast to Graveyard, search Assault Mode Activate, use Psy Reflector's effect to bring back Assault Beast to level 6, Synchro for 7, go into Black Rose, then blow up the field, because now their trap card can be activated point blank. Kill the whole field, and then you can bring back Black Rose Dragon with Monster Reborn or Return of the Dragon's Lord. He's a 7. Return of the Dragon Lord, bring back any dragon 7 or 8. Um, there's a whole bunch of plays, including stopping, uh, what are they, Thunder Dragons? Or any deck that just pops monsters nonstop, and that's all they do. So we run Bazel, the Bi Diabolical Dragon. Uh, can I be destroyed by battle or card effect? And if you take damage from battle with this monster or effect, this card gains um, attack to what you lost. So let's say they activate Himutama, I think it is. They lo you lose 500 light points of damage, of effect damage, so he will get powered up by 500. If they attack him with Blue Eyes Ultimate, he stays on the field. You lose 15, and since you lost 15, he gains 15 in attack. The next turn, just pop, attack their monster. He can't be destroyed, and you can link claim what I mean. Because you can go into another side reflector, and then let's say you go into... Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Abyss. He is one level above and requires a Dark Dragon Synchro, which is a Dark Dragon Synchro. So when you bring out the second Psy Reflector, you can Synchro him, go into Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Abyss, and then yet again, you can use Monster Reborn or Return of the Dragon's Lord, bring him back, and you're moving him from the extra monster zone to another zone, and then you have him on field. He will negate one once per turn, so he's exactly um, Stardust Assault Mode. 
negate one per turn. He's 32. And if he does damage, guess what? He brings back Psy Reflector. So you can link climb like I was saying. I mean, I keep saying link climbing. I mean synchro climbing. Don't mind me. Um, I want one high speed Rory Kite Drake for the simple fact that if you open up Assault Sentinel and go into the loop, you can use so um at the point of bringing back Assault Sentinel with um Psy Reflector's effect and making him a seven. Before you synchro, use Assault Sentinel's secondary effect on Assault um Psy Reflector. And you'll be targeting um, Kite Drake. And Psy Reflector will then become a Wind Machine. And I say that because that is the requirement of this. A Wind... Let me try to get it clearer. Sorry. Uh, it's not focusing. There you go. It requires a Wind Machine Tuner. So since Assault Sentinel makes Psy Reflector a machine... Wind type. You can then synchro into um, Kai Drake, and he blows up the whole field, or negates monsters on the field permanently with his effects. And I, what I like using him with is, he, I, and like I said, if you open up Soul Sentinel, it's better to go this route instead of Black Rose because he stays on the field and he's a three thousand B stick. Um, Draco Berserker of Tenyu is good to stopping um, monsters that bring come back from the graveyard. And if he destroys a monster, he gets a, a permanent boost. Bazel, the, the level 10 one, you can target a monster. They, they lose, you gain life points equal to that monster's attack, and it also loses that attack. But then any um, damage this monster inflicts becomes half. So basically, he does 2,000 damage, but you just gain their monster as a, to your life points. Um, Tyrant, Red Dragon, Archfiend. Um, you can bring this easily with Assault Teleport. I mean, uh, Emergency Teleport. And going into, let's say, Assault Sentinel combo. You use Psy Reflector. I'll show the combo later on. Um, Tyrant, Red Dragon, Archfiend. Star Eater. Black Luster Soldier and um, Soldier of Chaos. We Winches of Princess. Nightmare Phoenix. Link Karibo. And Mega Fleet. Now, like I said, going second, you open up Cyber Dragon, get their monster out the way. You go into Mega Fleet. It's a, a 10. You can also go into your Cyber Reflector combo. And then once Psy Reflector is on the field, you bring back whatever you want to bring back. But Psy Reflector plus Mega Fleet goes into Star Eater. Because Star Eater is one tuner and one non-tuner, one or more non-tuner monsters. So you can get their big boss monster out the way and bring out Mega Fleet. Still utilizing your deck to go into Star Eater. And then you also would have a Dark because he's in Grave. At this point, because he's on the field, he's in grave, he's a dark. Plus, the cyber dragon is a light. That's food for a BLS. So, I'm gonna end the video right there because it's already getting too long. Um, I'll make another video with combos, but let me know if you want that too. And basically, I'll go into every combo that this is, but this is the deck and how it is. Sorry, it's so long. Um, I do apologize, I talk too much sometimes. But that's my Chaos Assault Mode deck.